So today we want to have a conversation about second chance banks online. So if you want to talk about, if you want to talk about non-check system bank accounts, how do you find an open an account fast and easy? So that's the big question we want to cover in today's conversation. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love the conversation, I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or a tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about second chance banks online, non-check system bank accounts. How do you find and open an account fast and easy? The first step, you need to know the banks that offer that kind of service, okay? Don't go to any bank. Don't waste your time going to other banks. You need to focus on a specific set of banks that offer this sort of second chance um, bank accounts. So first, we have Chime. So Chime is really, when it comes to uh, this kind of banks, Chime is our, our top pick, okay? And uh, they were a fast-growing internet-only financial company, and uh, they offer second-chance bank accounts, okay? They have no monthly fees. You have deposit cash for free at over 8,500 Walgreens. This is really good. And we also love the fact that Chime has smart technology. So they basically... They basically do everything or most of the most of their things on mobile phone. This is really good. So you don't have to have an even have a, you know, you, have, you don't have to go to a, a branch or you don't have to have a computer. If you have a phone, you are fine. OK, so and they have a customer's first approach. We love that. You also have Vero Bank. OK, this is another good account. They have something called a Vero Bank account. So they actually will take care of you. And that this is great for second chance banking. OK, and there is no credit check, no minimum balance requirements or monthly fees and no overdraft fees. So this is really good. OK, and you have a great account features. For example, Vero Bank allows you to deposit checks through a mobile app once you have received a direct deposit in the account and you can deposit cash through green dot locations. Again, they don't check your uh, your banking history or the account, your telecheck, your check system, not at all, okay? And there are some fees that you need to watch out for though. They will charge you $250 for out of network ATM withdrawals, $595 for cash deposits via third party money transfer services, and $250 for over the counter cash withdrawals. The third, third bank you have Sable. Sable is kind of cool too because they actually have, you can open a bank account and get a debit card and secure a credit card in five minutes. This is really fast. It, this is a, a second chance ba bank also and we love the fact that they offer actually 2% cash back on your favorite brands. So this is really good and uh, one thing we love is that they don't need a social security number or US credit history to open your account. Okay, Then you have SoFi Money. SoFi Money is really, is really good also and they have a second chance uh, account Then that's called uh, the SoFi Money Cash Management Account. So this is really good and what we love is that when you sign up and deposit at least ten dollars within five days so far will deposit an additional twenty five dollars in your account automatically this is really good okay and with so far you have no account fees unlimited reimbursed atm fees and you have uh, automated uh, bill pay and you have access to so far number benefits uh, member benefits like career coaching and financial advising and then you have a current Current is another web-only national bank that has uh, some really great features, and they offer second-chance banking also. And what we love with uh, Current is that you basically have a no, minim no minimum balance, no deposit required to open an account, no overdraft fees when you withdraw at uh, one of uh, their uh, 40,000 ATMs in the United States. So this is, this is really good. We love Current. There are other banks that I want to share with you. So, folks, we are still in uh, step number one. You need to know the banks that offer this service. Do not waste your time talking to other banks. OK, and so we have a aspiration, spend and save. So this is really good. You have up to uh, and they have a bonus. But as a matter of fact, they will give you up to two hundred dollars if you open a new account right now. OK, so when we talk about aspiration, we are talking about a socially and environmentally conscious company that can help you make more sustainable choices. 
while making the most of your money. And uh, they, they have a spend and save account that, that actually combines both checking and savings. And this is really good, okay? And uh, so this is a company that wants to make sure that you, you do well, you do good, okay? They have a new account bonus and they have a second chance bank account for you. We have Nearside. So Nearside is really good also, but if this is more geared towards folks who are business minded. So if you are a sole proprietor, or you're a small business owner, you're an independent contractor, you are a, um, yeah, you're a sole proprietor, you might find Nearside very interesting, okay? And they have a free business MasterCard debit card, they have a free online and mobile, free online and mobile app, among other things. No monthly fee, no NSF fees, no card replacement fees, okay? No ACH transfer fees, this is really good. And so when you think about Nearside, I want you to think about a constellation of services. They have banking services, they have rewards, they have a rewards program, and the application process, it's very fast. You also have Lending Club Banking. Okay, so Lending Club uh, is also good also. They offer an account called uh, Essential Checking. So this is uh, an account that is a second chance bank account. And you have, uh, it is FDIC insured, not a problem. And you have free, you have a, a free MasterCard debit card, by the way, all these programs I'm talking to you about are available to residents in all 50 states, okay? And um, one thing we love with uh, Lending Club is that you have free online banking with bill pay. You have $10 minimum deposit to open the account. They do charge you a monthly servants fee of uh, $9, no minimum balance. And you have the ability to upgrade your account after 12 months of responsible banking history. We also have Acorns. So Acorns is kind of cool also. They actually have a $75 new account bonus right now. So when you open an account, and the account is called the Acorns Spend. Okay, so this is uh, another second chance checking account that we love on this show. And we love with Acorn, Acorns, rather. We love uh, their constellation of services. You have a free Visa debit card, a free bank-to-bank -bank transfers, free physical check sending online and or through the mobile app, free mobile check deposits, and so on and so forth. Fantastic, okay? And uh, we also have uh, Wells Fargo. Yes, Wells Fargo. They actually, you can apply for this account online depending on your state of residence. And this is a, they offer something called a clear access banking account. And this is a, this is a debit card only account. No paper checks available. Okay, so you cannot issue a, a paper check with this account. But this is kind of cool. Okay, this is really good. And uh, we love the fact that Wells Fargo, the, they do have a $5 monthly fee. But the fee is waived for account holders that are 24 years old and younger, okay? And the account is available to residents in all 50 states. So we love that. And what I want to say is that the minimum deposit is $25 to open the account with Wells Fargo. We have actually uh, covered this topic on, a, on another show. If you're, if you're interested, go watch that show. It's called Second Chance Banks Online. We give you a full list of banks that offer their service, and you will love it. So the first step is what? You gotta know the banks that offer that service. So I kind of, I kind of gone through, uh, I kind of went through ten banks that offer that service. Okay. The second thing you need to do is you need to pick the bank. This is important. So you have actually a list of all banks. This is kind of good. Okay, boss. Now I want you to identify the right account for you, because the thing, is, the thing is, if you have, don't, don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. You have the banks. Now you need to pick out. You need to decide whether you want a checking account. A savings account, a savings account, a money market account, or a certificate of deposit. Chances are you want a checking account first, but you probably want other accounts too. So don't limit yourselves to uh, to just a checking account. Look for other accounts that they may have. Okay, and you want to look for banks that charge low or no fees. So if, if you're trying to pick the bank, if you're trying to pick the the, the right bank. Please pay attention to the banks that charge low or no fees. It's important because right now we want to save you money. Th that's the big deal here, okay? You want to con consider the convenience of a bank branch. Now, a lot of banks here that we have on this list are online banks. But if you have one or two of them that offer uh, a bank, uh, let's say a branch, go for that. For example, we have uh, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo has a, is a traditional bank with brick and mortar branches. So if that's what you want, go for it, okay? Take a look at credit unions. You never know because uh, maybe your community, your local credit union offers second chance banking. Okay. Find a bank that actually supports your lifestyle. This is important. You want a bank that that gives you the, 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 the services that you need to grow, to save, to save money, 
to empower you. This is really important. And you want to pay attention to their uh, digital features. So a lot of banks offer uh, app convenience. They, you can do this through your smartphone, blah, 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 blah. So you want to take you want to take some time to study their services. OK. And um, when we talk about studying their services, what can you do through the app or through the website? Can you transfer funds? Can you pay bills? Can you check balances? Can you make mobile check deposits? Those are things you need to pay attention to. And please understand the terms and conditions before selecting a bank. Okay. And if you have time and you should have time, you want to read reviews for the banks you are considering folks. Okay. I want you to do that for me. Number three, you need to contact the bank. So first you have uh, familiarize yourself with the banks that offer that kind of service. Second, you want to pick the bank that responds to your, uh, to, that, that actually fits your expectations. The third thing, boss, you got to contact them. Don't sit around and just again, you know, get stuck in analysis paralysis, spending all your time and just uh, analyzing the bank and uh, never deciding. No. You want to get up now you want to get up right now and contact the bank but when you contact the bank there are some questions you got to be ready to ask before you open a bank account with them okay so you want to know the bank's fees it's important we we're talking about the, the the some banks may charge you uh, fees for a variety of things account maintenance minimum balance atm use overdraft return de deposits foreign transactions transferring money between accounts personal checks ask them about that what are the fees yeah, make it plain, make it plain, you know, you, you just break it down for me and make the just make sure that the pricing is as transparent as possible. OK, you also want to ask them, where are the bank's ATMs? A lot of banks that I've told that I've uh, told you about are online banks, but they do have actually they have they are part of uh, ATM networks, but you want to know those ATMs. OK, you want to know if there is a minimum balance required. Talk to them about that. Okay. What are what's the account's interest rate? Okay. Does the bank have good customer service? Again, if you ask the bank directly, they need to tell you if they are open 24-7, if their staff is uh, US based or they have to just uh, outsource the whole thing to somewhere somewhere overseas. Okay. And uh, you also want to ask them if the bank has solid online banking and a mobile app. Okay. And how easy is it uh, to transfer money out of your account those are important things because uh you might be thinking oh well those are basic questions but hey listen nothing is basic boss no nothing is basic unless you ask you might be surprised that some banks do not offer the kind of service you believe is basic it's really important and can you access your money when traveling this is another question that you want to pay attention to Okay. Will your money be insured? Because you want to choose a bank that is FDIC insured, right? Because it's it's all about making sure that your money is safe, so that if the bank fails, the first two hundred fifty thousand dollars will be returned to you. Very important. You want to make sure the bank is insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, the FDIC. Very critical. Step number four, you want to check your FICO. Now, you might be telling me, why am I checking my FICO if we're talking about banking? OK, the thing is that there is a strong relationship between your FICO score and your check system. Chances are, if you have a check system record, you probably have a poor credit also or at least a fair credit because financial responsibility works in both ways. If you are financially responsible, you are able to avoid overdraft and all that kind of stuff. So while you are looking for a second chance bank online or offline for that matter make sure that you are paying attention to your credit so that this this uh, bad credit or this less than stellar credit doesn't come back and bite you all right it's important you want to check your credit regularly to know exactly what's going on okay and uh checking your credit report can allow you to identify inaccurate or incomplete information and to know what lenders may see and to ensure your accounts are reported properly. This is really important for several reasons. Number one, check systems sometimes will, will monitor your, your FICO uh, reports to see if information they have sort of coincides with they, uh, what, they, what they see on other uh, reports. So for instance, 
if there is inaccurate or incomplete information, you have the ability to uh, to dispute the information. You can file a dispute with uh, Equifax, Experian, or TransUnion very fast, and it is their responsibility. Once you provide them the proof that the information is indeed inaccurate, it is their responsibility to fix it. You can also contact the data furnisher. This could be the lender or the credit card issuer directly and ask for a rect you can ask for uh, some uh, correction here okay and it's also important to understand that you can actually get this information you can check this information for free there is a website called annualcreditreport.com that allows you to actually uh, get the report for free once a year okay and uh, you can also sign up for services like uh, credit karma nerd wallet nav wallet hub Okay, and you have the ability to check your credit, even the Capital One and Discover offer this service. A lot of banks and credit card issuers nowadays offer this service for free. So you can check your FICO score for free and you have Credit Wise and we have other uh, services. But yeah, if you're trying to open a second chance bank online or offline, if you are successful, make sure that you are cleaning, you are cleaning up your FICO score along the way. Very critical. Speaking about cleaning up, let's talk about cleanup. This is important, but I want you to clean up right now your banking history. Not your credit history, but your banking history. So there, there are a couple of steps you need to take to clear up your check systems record, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you have to do this before opening the account. You can open the account, not a problem, but this is something that you need, you need to do at some point. This is kind of, you can't just like, Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine now that I have an account. My check system can be uh, negative. I don't really care. No, boss. No, don't say that. So you want to request your reports from check system. You want to call check system at 1-800-428-9623. And this is an automated voice messaging system. Or you can go to their website. You go to the request, re to, uh, the request report section. And you want to fill out the consumer disclosure form. And you want to submit it online and print it out and mail it to Check System Attention Consumer Relations, 7805 Hudson Road, Suite 100, Woodbury, Minnesota 55125. We're going to put the address on the screen for you. Okay. One thing I want to say here is that this is important. You basically want to have an idea of what they have in the in your report. Okay. And uh, legally, they are um, mandated to reply to you. Okay, so first thing is check your report, your check system report. Second, you want to dispute errors. You never know. You probably think, oh, you know, I have a bad banking history, blah, 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 blah. But the question is, have you ever taken the chance to see exactly what, what you have on your report? Maybe you have, a, you have a bunch of errors that you can very easily correct. And, okay, so the, the thing here is that you can actually do this online via mail or fax or by phone. I'm talking about the, the dispute part, okay? And you can also write a letter, actually. We have covered this on other shows, so I'm not going, I'm not going to waste time here. But um, you can try to pay off the debts. If you have a, a checkered banking history because you haven't uh, paid a bit of debts in the past, pay off the debts. Are you doing financially, financially better now? Are you better now, boss? Talk to me about that. If you're doing better, why don't you just pay off the debts? Pay it off. I mean, pay them off. I mean, that's just... Uh, you know, a little nuisance there that's just bothering you, just pay it off. Or you can ask creditors to remove the information. So if you believe this is wrong information or you have paid off the debt, please follow up with creditors or, and, bank, and banks for that matter to tell them to remove the derogatory information. And, uh, or you can just wait until the record drops off the database. Yeah, because this will actually, your, um, your check system will actually... Uh, renew itself after five years so whatever derogatory items you have on your check system it will be out after five years if you can wait okay not a problem i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. We also having a conversation, conversation today about second chance banks online. How do you actually get one? 
and uh, step number six you need to be eligible or to become eligible and you need to understand that when you talk to the bank you want to ask them the requirements that you need to fulfill to become a customer okay and generally there are a few things you need to open a second chance bank account first of all you need to have a valid government issued id such as a driver's license or a passport okay and non-drivers can get a state id card at the department of motor vehicles office not a problem they might ask you for other basic information such as your your, your birth date your social security number or taxpayer identification number and phone number okay and they might ask you an initial deposit so it can be ten dollars twenty five dollars or more okay so depending on your circumstances you might need a few other items too so identification details for other applicants so if you're opening a joint account because the account will be owned by multiple parties the bank will ask for all owners identification and personal information okay and you can also uh, if you're a co-owner if you are not 18 yet you can ask a parent or legal guardian to sign legal documents with the bank okay so this is really good you can try that not a problem and uh one thing i always and i've said this before folks i want you to find a bank that suits your needs it's really important if you're willing to consider online only banks you're likely to find lower fees and higher interest rates okay brick and mortar institutions typically have more fees and lower rates but often come with a wider array of services and of course in-person assistance so what is what matters to you this is the question you got to ask yourself okay when you are trying to get a second chance bank you need to ask yourself what are your needs and find the bank that actually pro provides services that match those needs so when you open a, your new account just make sure that you are comfortable that you have set up everything in terms of a direct deposit if you work and you want the, the money to go straight into your second chance bank account make sure you have set you have set things up uh, properly generally you cannot issue a check from this account you cannot issue a check from a second chance account okay because they're just trying to give you a second chance so that unless you have proven to the bank that you are responsible financially they're not going to allow you to issue checks so be aware of that and be comfortable with that idea step number seven now you need to deposit cash into the account you need to fund the accounts okay now there are several ways you can fund the account so once you have the account set up and you're all happy you have your account number you can communicate the account number your routing number everything to your to your boss to your employer to whatever make sure you fund the accounts and there are a lot of ways you can do this you can deposit locally or you can transfer electronically if you are have if you're lucky to have a bank such as Wells Fargo that has a brick and mortar branch you can go to the bank and deposit the, the deposit the amounts not a problem okay and uh, one thing you need to understand is that uh, you can also transfer electronically right so whether we have uh, banks online banks such as uh, uh, ally we have capital one 360 we have discover and other banks they allow you to to link your account electronically to another account at a traditional bank or credit union so this is really good so if that linked institution has a local branch make your cash deposits there then create an, an electronic transfer also known as a, an ACS transfer to move the money to your online bank okay or you can buy a money order I'm just giving you a couple of ways to fund your account here okay you can transform your cash into an easy to deposit check by buying a money order at a at a local retailer or at a post office then make it payable to yourself this is really good because and if your online bank has an electronic scan feature you can snap a photo and upload the money order to your account for deposit this is really good and uh, you can deposit cash in a linked ATM this is really good and one thing we have seen in our research is that some but not all online banks are able to collect deposits through cash accepting ATMs okay you want to ask your institution if an ATM option is available or you can load cash on a reloadable prepaid debit card so this is kind of cool also okay so to make frequent cash deposits you want to consider buying a reloadable prepaid debit card and linking it to your online bank account so you can then load cash to the card at certain stores and make an ACH transfer to your online bank so this is really good so the bottom line here is that you have several options to fund the accounts and but you gotta fund the accounts because if they allow you to uh, get the second chance bank account 
you need to start using the, the, the account and the only way you can start using the account if you is if you fund it okay so besides direct deposit there are other ways to fund the account <music> All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was just talking to you about how to open a large, not a large, how to open a second chance bank account online or offline for that matter. And uh, there are seven steps. Number one, you want to know which banks offer the service that you need. Number two, pick the bank. Number three, you want to contact the bank. There are certain questions you need to ask them when you call them. Number four, you want to check your FICO score. Number five, you want to clean up your banking history. Number six, you want to be eligible or become eligible for that matter. Or number seven, you need to fund your accounts. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll speak to you another, t another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.